Hey, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my birth story series. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button below. Please follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at living.lacy. So today I have my cousin Simone here and she is going to share her birth story. Her daughter just turned nine months, so stay tuned. Okay, Simone, you have the floor. Go ahead, tell us your story. Okay, so I started off with a midwife because I was like so interested. I'm like, this is my lap. <laughs> these, are, <laughs> these are the children. <laughs> it was my last kid. So I'm like, I want to do a water birth. It's going to be so fun. So I ended up finding Mercy Birthing Center. So I had like midwives. I only went to the doctor like... With with a, a midwife, you don't go to the doctor as much as you would with the regular one because they want you to do it all by yourself. So <laughs> fast forward in, it was like a Wednesday and I'm like, it was like nine o'clock in the morning and I went to pee. And when I stood up, it was peeing the boxers or whatever it was. I don't know what it was because I kept telling my midwife, I've never experienced my water breaking. It's always been broken for me. So I don't know what to look for. I don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And basically, I think it broke that day. But I went in, I called her and told her. They checked and was like, no, nothing's happening. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go home. So Thursday passed. And then Friday morning, my stomach was hurting so bad. And another thing I told them, I do not know how to count contractions, because I don't feel them until uh -huh. it's time to push. So I don't, I don't know when they're there. Uh -huh. So well, that's I'm amazing. Like, like, I wish I could, I wish that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> so my stomach was hurting. And I'm like, I'm telling Byron, I'm like, we gonna have a baby by Sunday. We gonna have a baby by Sunday. You like, girl, shut up. No, you're not. So then I was like prepping. I don't know what I was doing. I, I called her. I was like, I think I'm about to have this baby. I need to come in. And she was like, <laughs> no, we just check your cervix. It could be a false labor. This is false labor pains. I'm like, no, nah, this baby about to come. I feel it. Mind you, it's Friday the 13th. So I thought Chucky was gonna pop out. I was scared. <laughs> So she was like, take a hot bath, and if it doesn't get better, come in. So I'm like, okay, mind you, I still got Mila and Clay running around the house, but my friend was getting ready to take Mila. She was doing her hair. So I'm sitting in the tub. I'm getting irritated, though, like, because the water is making me so mad. So a water birth wasn't even going to do nothing for me because I'm in the water. I'm getting so pissed off. I'm like, I got to get off. I got to get out this tub. I'm like, I got to get out this tub. So I think I was mostly irritated because I was just uncomfortable. Uh -huh. And I didn't, again, I didn't know what it was to have my water break. I didn't know what it was to count contractions because I never, I don't feel them until it's go time. So that's how I knew, like, it was time to go. I was feeling a little bit of pain. So I'm like, she's about to come and this lady's telling me she's not. So I get out the tub. I'm wrapped in the towel and Byron's mom is there and she was getting ready to take Clay because I'm like, we're about to go to the hospital. And she was like, well, if y'all not going to the hospital right now, then I'm just going to uh, go run some errands and I'll come back and get them. <laughs> so I'm laying in the bed at this point. I'm sweating. I'm just laying in the bed. I'm like curled up. I'm sweating. I'm like, no, this like actually hurts. Like we got to go. Mm -hmm. and I said Byron I don't think we're gonna make it to the hospital and literally I got into like a doggy style position in the bed and then a gush just like came out like a big gush and then I just felt like the urge to push uh -huh. and I was like call the ambulance we're not gonna make it and Clay goes mom you didn't make it to the potty because I didn't know Clay was standing <laughs> standing right behind me and I was like oh my god so I'm in the uh, doggy position but I'm pushing 
and I'm trying to stop my body from pushing, but I couldn't. I knew we were too late, uh-huh. but I couldn't stop pushing, and I was like, forget it. You You're about to have this baby at home in the bed by yourself, so <laughs> get ready. That's so crazy. I'm late. But did he call the ambulance? Yeah, he's on the phone with the ambulance. I'm thinking he's about to pass out, <laughs> but he didn't. He's on the phone with the ambulance, and they're like, telling him to get shoestrings and all the towels in the house and blankets and also I just see him running around clay is on the other side of the bed holding my hand (laughs) and I'm like screaming but trying not to scream and I'm like it wasn't even like a scream it was like a grunt like a dog I don't know Uh but I was like I gotta get out this position because I feel like I'm stopping her like I was on all fours so I couldn't even roll over like I was just stuck like I don't know what was wrong I was just stuck and next thing you know the ambulance come busting through the door and it's like all men and I'm like scared (laughs) because I'm like I don't even know (laughs) y'all what are y'all about to do and like one of them he was panicking I could tell he was panicking like he's never done it before Uh (laughs) so they're like get her on her back get her on her back so I'm on my back mind you we're in a room where like it's a king size bed and it's like the dresser. So like the space is in between the dressers, like enough for one person to fit in. And um, it's like four of them right there. Uh-huh. And they're like, get her on the get her on her back. So I'm on my back. And they put this like girdy thing under me to like carry me out. Mm-hmm. But when they got my hips off the bed, her head popped out. And then the man goes, get her back on the bed get her back on the bed we're having a baby right now (laughs) get her back on the bed so I was like oh my god this is happening so a woman finally walks in so really the first set of people in there was the fire department they didn't know what they were doing so the (laughs) the ambulance people like finally came Uh and it was a woman and she was like I'm sorry, but we're not going to make it. You're just going to have to push. I said, well, her head is hanging out. Duh. Right. <laughs> so we're pushing and pushing. And then out pops this baby. And, and she's like blue. And they're like freaking out. They don't know what to do. And then the officer goes, give me the damn plunger. The, the thing. He didn't even know what to say. He was like, the plunger, the suction. You know what I need. <laughs> and then they like put that in her throat. And then she started crying, and so they put me on the, um, they still had me on the gurdy. They just threw her on top of me. When we get outside, the whole neighborhood is recording. So Are you I'm, <laughs> Yes, ghetto. The whole neighborhood is oh recording. <laughs> Everybody's sitting on their porch recording. And I got back home, and I was like, girl, you had that baby at home, didn't you? I was like yeah and my dad was like that is the craziest that is only you only you only that would happen to you so like at what point did they cut the cord they let dad cut it in the house and I couldn't get my placenta out by myself the placenta was just in in me for like 30 (laughs) minutes because from where we were at to I had I didn't even get to go to my original hospital I had to go to St. Mary's and I couldn't she was like can you push it out and I couldn't get it out and then they had to like um give me some type of medicine to make me contract again mm-hmm. to get the placenta out and it finally came out and it was huge and I was so like, like what time did she actually come she came at 4 30 on a friday so that was another reason i didn't get to go to my actual hospital because traffic time mm-hmm. they just had to take me to wherever they could they couldn't get me all the way to creep core mm-hmm. it wasn't gonna happen so so did you ever get any contractions? At the end, when it was time for her to come, yeah. Like when her head was already out? Yep. No, like right before that gush came, like no. before she started coming, it was like a, a warm gush of just liquidy stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I had contractions up until then. Oh. And I knew they were contractions because I would like get a break to take a breath. Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, these these are the contractions, but what messes me up is I don't feel them like in the beginning Mm -hmm. and I knew I didn't feel them because when I was having clay she was like you're are you feeling this and I'm like what she was like you're contracting I'm like no she was like this was a big one I'm like I didn't feel that and then that's amazing (laughs) yeah I literally don't feel them until it's like five minutes before push time Uh uh-huh 
But with her, I was feeling pain. Like I actually felt pain for probably like an hour before that gush happened. Mm -hmm. So like it was just getting worse and worse through that hour and then she came oh, okay but I got to the hospital and she was healthy she was like eight and a half pounds she was like my biggest baby because Mila was five five and a half and then Clay was seven and then she came out looking like a sumo I was like where did this big old baby come from so but, when you actually made it to the hospital like did they have to uh, examine her or like they they took y'all to a room and then they gave you the medicine and then they took her and examined her and stuff yeah they just examined um no. per like normal they just checked us both out weighed her got her actual height figured it all out and it was just like a normal, like as if I had gained birth at the hospital. Oh, okay. So then how long did you have to stay in the hospital after that? Well, I literally had her one week, like a couple of days before they went on lockdown for COVID. Mm -hmm. So I was in, in the hospital for two, but I was supposed to stay for three, but they were about to shut everything down because I had her March 13th and then like everybody was on lockdown after that. Okay. So I had her right at the height of COVID. This has been the most graphic birthing experience I've ever had in my life. Like, cause everything was just, it was blood all on the beds. It was everywhere. Like it was, I see why women do do it at home though. Cause you have like your free will to be in any position you want to be in. I could have did it standing up, but I just didn't have the strength. Like, mm -hmm. And it was just happening so fast. I just did it at, at like how I could. Mm -hmm. But that's basically what happened. And then the, 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 not the police, the fire department, everybody were like, can we take a picture? This was our first birth and I almost passed out. I was like, <laughs> I, was like I was in the hands of some non-giving birth people. <laughs> It was, it was crazy. It was so crazy. When you, I wish you could have another one. So when you were, did she say yes. she you have another one? Girl, she's so, okay. She a little special. <laughs> and I swear, I'm, I haven't seen them lady since. Like, they, <laughs> they called and were like, did you have the baby? And I'm like, yeah, we could go. Oh, my <laughs> man. At home. Crazy. Yeah, it was legit wild. But they said that's what they think um, sped up the process was me getting in that warm water. Oh. Like maybe the water should have been a little more cooler, but I like to be red when I get out the tub. Right. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. like, how was Byron? Did Was he like freaked out? Like, was he like weirded out? I think he was freaked out on the inside. <laughs> but it didn't show. He was like calm. So, which was good because Clay was there the whole time. And Clay, you could tell he was starting to kind of freak out. Uh -huh. So, dad just stayed calm. And then <laughs> they followed the ambulance. And Clay was like, that's so cool. Like, he, he thought that was cool. <laughs> but I didn't because that was the bumpiest ride of my life. The ambulance is not a fun ride. I was like, get me out this thing. <laughs> Please, ain't no seatbelts in here. It's nothing. <laughs> so in the ambulance, you just sitting there holding her like this. They just had her laying on my chest. I was kind of, I was really cold. Like, um, they just kept wrapping me in blankets. So then at one point, the man, one of the fire department men rode with us. Mm -hmm. So he held her and walked in with her because I was just too cold and stiff to like hold her. I don't know why I was so cold, but I'm like, this ride is too bumpy. Like, I'm scared she's going to fly off of me so he like she was wrapped up in a towel too like she wasn't you know medical blankets or nothing. Oh. <laughs> she was just in a towel so, oh my goodness that is crazy yeah. so like um how early did she come like like was it like a week early or she came like really close she was like a week early she oh. was born on the 13th and she was due like on the 20 something oh, okay 21st or the 22nd yeah okay. so she wasn't I just know I was ready I was on them yoga balls <laughs> I was doing whatever I had to do I'm like because she was making my back hurt so bad like the more kids you have the harder it is on your body 
literally and the recovery time like the recovery time after her was so long and I was so sore for so long really like, this ain't right because after Mila I was ready to go to the club right so, <laughs> but not with this baby I was like no no that is yeah. so crazy like I wish I was you not feeling no contractions until last minute <laughs> well there you have it that is Simone's crazy and unexpected birth story thank you Simone for sharing with us and thank you everyone for tuning in to my birth story series if you haven't already please hit the like button below tune in next week for another birth story thanks see you next time peace out y'all Thank <laughs> you.